So our intention is to create an ecological U-turn where we are no longer slowing the rate at which greenhouse gas emissions are increasing or slowing the rate at which climate change is getting worse, but begin to restore our climate and at the same time uh, have clean energy displace dirty energy. And the way in which that happens is there's a couple new things that we need to do. First, we need to emphasize that fighting climate change isn't only a moral obligation, it's an economic opportunity. Right? We're not simply working to say, uh, to show how climate change will affect uh, our production of food crops across the country and, and the availability of clean water across the country. And not only will it affect our national security and our energy security, but we also need to emphasize that our economy will grow the more we invest in clean energy. More people will be put to work. Um, and the best way that we can do that is to get local and to focus on individual coal plants, individual oil pipelines, individual gas peaker plants. Look at, evaluate carefully how economically viable these plants actually are and show how when we transition away from dirty coal-fired power plants and away from dirty energy and invest in clean energy, everything improves. Our air gets cleaner, our water gets cleaner, more people get put to work, and at the same time we're sta helping to stabilize our climate. Over the last 18 months across the country, we have already secured almost 10% of the entire U.S. coal fleet has already been either retired or is on a schedule to be retired. Each one of those coal plants is going to be replaced with clean energy. So even though it seems as though we're falling far behind, we're actually making good progress and we'll soon be making great progress in creating a clean energy future.